hey guys what is up it is simone here welcome back to my channel if you're new make sure before you leave this video you go ahead and hit that subscribe button like and leave a comment down below with any questions or concerns you might have after watching this video so we're diving right deep into this i am using a wig from diva's wig i definitely came up with the title and the method for this video after viewing lovely brianna's video with the scar away method i thought it was brilliant and so instead of using the scar away method i went ahead and found this blister prevention as i was walking down down the aisles of CVS so I thought maybe this might be a really good alternative a very good idea this is my first time trying it and so I wanted to bring it to my channel and see if it works <laughs> so it comes in a roll so there's a lot of options there I mean hey if it doesn't work for your wig or work for this video you can definitely use it for the back of your ankles in case you just got some new shoes that are just causing issues okay so there's no waste here I got the color beige because I figured it'd match me uh, as close as possible it is sticky as you can see so it will stay onto the lace but you can see the difference with the blister prevention tape thingy underneath it definitely does add an extra light of color now when we're doing the ball cap method the whole point that is to pretty much lighten underneath so that your part looks more brighter and more natural right that's the whole point of the blister prevention thing that we're going to be using today to get started get a yellow face foundation or powder that you have laying around and just really cover the entire lace the inside of the lace because you want to kind of start to tint it without actually having to tint it with liquid this is the side part that they originally gave me on the wig and what I did was I kind of tested it out. I did cut it more narrow because I didn't want it to be so wide on the actual lace. Now make sure when you're doing this that you are not placing it on the hairline because you will see it when you turn the wig the right way. This right here is an example of how it will look if you put the tape all the way to the hairline. So you don't want to do this. You want to make sure you slide it back about a half an inch just so that it's not visible when you glue or spray your wig down. It should look seamless like this. Now for styling, I just did something very basic. The wig came with a side part on the left side. You guys know I only like my side parts on the right side <laughs> or a middle part. So I just went straight in and just did some basic flat ironing. As you can see, I didn't add any curls or any, I didn't really put much zhuzh into it because it's a bob and honestly, I wanted it to be straight. I then went ahead and just did um, very minimal plucking just to make it look a little more natural and fit me a little better. So now what we're gonna do is, I don't want you to be stuck to just one part. I actually just put several around the lace because I wanted to give you guys ideas in case you you know keep your wig on for a long time. Or maybe you just wanna have options. You don't wanna just wear a side part. Maybe you wanna wear a middle part. So this is something that you can do. You can put it all the way around the front of the wig. And if you want to take off some because you're only going to wear a middle part, then go ahead and do that. But I wanted to give you guys options. This is how it looks inside. Again, I am giving you an example of how it's going to look if you do not move it back. If you do come across this issue and you can't see it on your canvas head, just roll the wig back and trim off any excess pieces. It is super simple, guys. I promise you, this is how it should look. It should be seamless. You should not be able to see it underneath the because you're gonna look crazy once you go outside. Doing my typical install method, I have my Gotta Be Glue holding spray. I have been using the Pantene, as you guys know, but I wanted to use this particular spray because I, honestly, it was the easiest thing to reach out for. It wasn't in my cabinet. It was already on the counter in my bathroom, so I just picked it up first. It's a brand new can, guys, so I can kind of go back and forth now before I was out of it. Now go ahead and cut your lace. Now I'm gonna be 100% transparent and honest with this part. I was not a fan of the lace, like right here. I was so lost. I'm like, like, there's some wigs that you guys think that is so easy to deal with like it's just a slap it on your head and it's good but there's some wigs where it is overwhelming because sometimes it does not come out how you think it's gonna come out and then you have to put more 
more leg work into it and pray for the best <laughs> and so with this wig i did have to put way more energy into the styling because i just felt like the lace was not um as transparent or as 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 natural looking as i would want it to have been so um that did kind of, wow did you hear my voice <laughs> okay so that did actually play a role in the end result so i kind of just tried to cover up the the lace with the baby hairs and just took my time on really trying to trying to get it to look as best as possible for for me but i wanted to show you guys how it would look without the tape so without the tape underneath well, this is it with the tape, actually. That's with the tape. Now, without the tape, <laughs> it's going to be darker. So you can see the difference. One side is completely light, like the middle part, and one side is completely dark, okay? So that's why you see if you put several tapes underneath, you can change the parting with no issue. So this is it without the tape. And this is it with the tape. So as for the method, I thought the method was really cool. I mean, hey, uh, the whole point of being a content creator is to try new things, okay? It can get super boring just doing straight up lace installs, wig installs, blah, blah, blah installs, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, just to be able to get some more creativity and just try new things, you know, see if it works. Um, and give you guys those ideas is what I want to strive for and what I and what I used to do a lot on my channel, you know. So I kind of want to bring this back where I'm just trying a bunch of new stuff and see if it and seeing if it works and if it will do you guys any justice or you know and so forth. Now I did get a little crazy with the plucking, so I had to like go back and cover it up with some black powder. And then as for the parts, um, I did put foundation in the front of the part just to make it match with the tape underneath as for the method i think it's a cool method i think with the right lace and the right wig it would look a million times better so would i do this method again i definitely would do it again especially on the days where i'm lazy as hell and i just don't feel like putting foundation on because i'm probably gonna be wearing the wig for a long time i would try this is it gonna last forever is this tape gonna stay in this one spot and never move no but thankfully you have a whole entire roll so if you ever have to replace that tape you can go ahead and replace that tape with another little piece from that roll so definitely try it out the roll was about six dollars it was not expensive uh, well maybe it was expensive i mean maybe that is a lot of money i don't know but definitely check out lovely brianna's page i got the idea from her and i believe she got the idea from a forum that was on google